Imagine there's a tunnel in front of us. At exactly 7 p.m., a car is just about to enter the tunnel. But something strange happens. A recorder at the far exit already logs that this car has passed through. The timestamp reads 6.59 p.m., a full minute before the car went in. That makes no sense. Yet a striking paper recently reported that a similar effect had been observed in the lab. Light heading into a medium appeared to have been emitted as if it had already emerged before it even entered. What could have happened? In September 2024, at the University of Toronto's Quantum Optics Lab, a team led by Professor Ephraim Steinberg was studying the subtle interactions that occur when light meets matter. As light passes through a material, it continually brushes past the atoms inside it, more precisely, their electron shells. In this process, electrons absorb the photon's energy and jump to a higher energy, excited state. But that excited state doesn't last long. The electron quickly drops back down and releases the energy difference again as a photon. Absorption, excitation, and emission all occur on unimaginably short timescales, measured in trillionths of a second and even quadrillionths. Interestingly, when these ultra-brief pauses repeat across countless atoms, they slightly slow the propagation of light. That tiny cumulative delay produces a very familiar effect, refraction. The reason light bends in matter, and why media such as glass, water, and air have different refractive indices, comes down to the tiny residence time in those excited states. Steinberg's team set out to measure exactly how long this delay really is. They used rubidium atoms, whose simple level structure and easy laser control make them a staple in quantum optics experiments. The team directed finely tuned lasers at an ultra-cold cloud of rubidium atoms, cooled to near absolute zero. The task was simple. Measure the time between two moments, when an electron electron absorbs light and rises to an excited state, and when it emits a photon and returns to the ground state. But an unexpected result appeared. In some cases, the measured time came out negative. The implication is simple, yet startling. It looked as though the photon had been emitted before the atom had even absorbed it, as if a car popped out of the far exit of a tunnel before it ever went in. In previous experiments, scientists observed cases where light appeared to emerge before it even entered a medium. Until now, they have taken this not as a literal effect, but as an illusion arising from light's wave nature. Light doesn't travel as a single frequency. It moves as a wave packet, a bundle of many frequencies superposed. As this packet passes through a medium, its shape can become distorted, making the center of the packet appear to shift. This phenomenon is called group delay. In some cases, the measured group delay can take negative values. This negative group delay means the center of the wave packet appears at the exit before the entrance. But this is purely a change in shape. Nothing actually arrives earlier. Thus, scientists have explained all of this as a wave-induced illusion, rather than a genuine physical effect. This experiment was different. It wasn't a change in the wave packet's shape, nor a distortion of its center. What they measured was the actual duration of the quantum state, computed from the photon's phase shift, and that duration itself came out negative. The team repeated the experiment over several years, and the result didn't change. It was neither a measurement error nor an illusion, but a real, physical effect. The team called this striking effect negative excitation duration. What does this phenomenon tell us? In quantum mechanics, a particle's position or energy isn't a single point, but is spread out probabilistically. What about time? Until now, time in quantum mechanics has been treated not as something observable like position or momentum, but merely as a parameter in the equations. We infer time's flow from change, the ball falling to the ground, day turning into night, hot coffee cooling. But we've never seen time itself. We've long assumed it isn't something we can directly observe. This experiment directly challenges that long-held belief. Negative excitation duration suggests that time might also be an observable, a measurable physical quantity with a probability distribution like position or energy. It's especially intriguing that in Einstein's relativity, space and time are treated almost on the same footing. As with space, perhaps time is a presence with form, unseen yet real. A presence that vibrates alongside us, even at this very moment. 